maybe to start just for myself, uh, for those who are uh, Blue users, uh, maybe you maybe you know me, maybe not, but in any case, I'm one of the co-founders here. So um, really involved in just about everything Blue related. So, you know, um, exciting partnerships like this with Ben, of course, um, and just, just everything about the product, uh, helping build it. So that's what I do here. And yeah, what Blue Mortgage is, uh, I guess maybe taking even a step further back is that it's a CRM. Uh, we're built specifically for Canadian uh, mortgage brokers. And uh, yeah, we've been around for about three, four years. We integrate with kind of all of the deal submission platforms out there and, uh, and now adding some new exciting integrations like this one with, uh, with CMA. And that's what we'll be talking about today. Ben, over to you. Thank you, Tom. Uh, my name is Ben Salami. For those who don't know me, I'm the founder and CEO of a company called Ben Digi Technologies. We're primarily focused on building mobile apps and uh, we've developed some really cool mobile mortgage apps for the industry. Uh, one of them is called Canadian Mortgage App, which we're going to demo today a little bit of it and the integration. Uh, the, the app is both customer facing and broker facing. There's some advanced tools for brokers and customizations as well. And clients really love it. Realtors love it. Uh, that's, that's about it. <laughs> nice nice so yeah i think we can get right into it here i think that uh i guess just before we dive into it a bit of housekeeping i think people were asking some questions about um recordings and different things like that so yeah you are muted by default this is being recorded and we will share this recording with um <clears throat> Uh, yeah, we will share this uh, recording with everyone afterwards, even if uh, you have to drop early, maybe you have something else, but we, we shall we'll record it. But I encourage you to stay, of course, just, you know, there'll be Q&A, more Q&A at the end and kind of see it all the way through. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's it. And there's a Q&A uh, to that point on the side. So maybe we're on the left where you see your name along the top, it should say it. Uh, I think may, I see attendees, maybe you see that, maybe not, but there's Q&A and polls, which everyone should see. So you can click either of those tabs. Q&A is just kind of an open forum, which we'll be checking and answering. And then polls, this is like, if we want to ask a question to the group, maybe we'll do that at the end, like say, hey, you know, what or what are people excited about? It's like a survey that we can, we can ask the group. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the, the housekeeping admin side of things. But uh, yeah, let's dive right into it. So I think to start, what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of show you um, kind of a very high level of, of blue, very high level of the Canadian Mortgage app. And then for those who are using both already, we're going to show you how you can just really kind of quite easily kind of connect the two of them. Um, and that's going to set the stage because, you know, once they're connected, we can get into a lot of the cool features that each of the different tools do. Uh, you know, specifically some pre-qualification stuff we'll go through on the Canadian Mortgage app and some cool workflow automated email stuff on on the blue side. But the first step uh, for anybody who's kind of interested in this integration is going to be connecting the two. Um, and so maybe that's where we'll start. So I think, Ben, I don't know if you have it up there, if you can kind of walk through that. I'll turn it over to you. Sure. Uh, I can quickly show you how you can install the plugin on the... Um, actually, you know what? Tom, maybe that's that's your part where you show sure. show how to install the plugin. I can show you how you can get that webhook URL into the app. Cool. And let's do it. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's say entire screen. You guys can see that, okay? Ben, you can see that, okay? Just share my screen there. Yes. 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 Beautiful. Okay. Um, so yeah, so with with uh, so this is blue. So to get them connected, like we said, that's kind of the first step. We're going to kind of walk through, kind of a little bit more uh, technical. But like I said, it kind of sets the foundation for the next things we're going to talk about. Um, yeah. So the first thing, if you're a blue user, you might be used to this screen. This is kind of the home page. Um, what you're going to kind of get used to as you log in, you kind of see what's going on um, for for your mortgage business that day. So to actually get the connection started, what it is, it's actually going to be what we call an extension. It's an add-on that you can install into your Blue Mortgage account. So it's a new feature, and it's something that you'll we can send you. It's a link. We send you that link. You basically can pop it into your browser here. You know, it's going to be a specific link. You would just copy and paste it in. I'm not going to show it right now because I've already done that. But basically, what happens once you 
already when you put in that link and if you have it uh, installed or when it is starting to get installed, what you're going to get prompted with is basically this page, right? So what happens is I basically have a link. I will send that link or, you know, the Blue Mortgage Team has that link. We'll share it with you. And then once it's installed, now you have this very unique special place where you can go to, which is going to show you your exact settings related to the Canadian Mortgage app. One kind of cool thing about this is that um, you can see here we have a couple different users. Um, you know, this here is basically just to, um, you know, if you have multiple members on your team who are using the same blue account, but each of those team members has a different Canadian mortgage app that they're using, that's okay, right? So you can actually generate, you know, unique integrations, unique connections, one blue account to many Canadian mortgage apps, which is kind of cool. And so that's why you see, you know, the, the multiple people here. So yeah, I didn't show that all the way through just because it was already installed, but this is really kind of the meat of it is that, hey, once you click that link, it takes you to this page. And then once you're in here, you're presented with this. And so what you see here is basically, again, two different people. And for each people, you have what's called a, a web hook here. And uh, it's this long, crazy thing that uh, I'm not going to pretend to really understand anything that it says here, but the really the whole purpose of it is just something that I can take, copy and paste, and put it into uh, my Canadian mortgage app. The other thing that I can do here is that because the app is on a mobile device, Sometimes it's hard to copy and paste. Biden, I think, has a cool way to do it that he'll show you in a second. But you also have the option to do what's called an email me, right? So if you have you know, your Gmail, your Outlook on your phone, you can email this link to yourself. You'll get it on your phone, and then it, it gets a little bit easier to copy and paste. So that's kind of the, yeah, the first step. Install this extension, get this screen, and then from this screen, you know, basically use this URL. And so maybe I'll turn it over to you, Ben, now, if you're able to show kind of how you get this URL into the into the app. Sure, thanks. All right, so let me share my screen then. Entire screen, so you could see everything. So on the left, I have Blue Mortgage, and on the right, we have the mobile app, the Canadian Mortgage app. And this is this is how the Canadian Mortgage app looks when it's branded to you. You basically get your own branded mobile app that you can share with your clients. There is a nice share button here at the bottom. And of course, once your clients have this, they will be able to use some of the tools, not all of the use, and not all of the tools, because some are reserved only for you, but they could use the majority of these tools to do their to do lots of lots of stuff. They can do pre-qualification, they can calculate the mortgage, calculate an entire purchase with down payment, etc. You can see the cards, these are the features on the app that clients can use. They can also uh, contact you directly from here. So there's a contact button. But also for yourself, right now, the app on the right is actually branded to me and I'm logged in as the administrator. So because I'm logged in as an admin, I see an admin button here. This is where we hide all the cool stuff that <laughs> brokers can access and consumers can't. So to start off, I wanna first show you in blue how you can connect the two. What we wanna do is we wanna connect the two in such a way that when we share the app with a client and they create an account or get pre-qualified, the information is automatically sent to your blue account. So that's really the purpose of this connection. And of course, further, Tom is going to explain how amazing you can set up automated workflows where once the client is in Blue Mortgage, it's going to send an email thanking them for their prequal or congratulating them to install your app, etc. So for those of you who missed how Tom got to the webhook URL, I'm going to show it one more time. So under here, there is a gear icon and it says setup. So when you click on it, it gets you to this, this entire page of, and, but what you're looking for is the marketplace. So this is where the plugin was installed. Click on all, click on the install tab because it's already installed. Yeah, and I was clicking cool. through quickly, eh? When I was going through yeah. it there. <laughs> <laughs> and down here, there is Canadian Mortgage App. And you don't want to click on configure because it's already done, but what you want is the settings. So click on settings. 
And here you have the webhook URL. So the goal now is to copy this link over to your app. And as Tom mentioned, there is a way to do it quickly. You can send an email and then you can go to your phone and open up your mail and, co and copy the link from there. Or, or another place, if you have a Mac, you can copy it on this, on your desktop. This is my desktop right now. And I can paste it into my app. This is called a universal clipboard. So it allows you to copy and paste things, including photos, actually. It's pretty cool. So on the mobile app, I told you there is a secret place for mortgage brokers. It's called the admin right here. When you click on it, here you can see the list of your clients who have installed your app. You can change your profile. You can add in all your socials. You can add in your testimonials, your leads, etc. And down here, we have something called webhooks. So you, the first time you'll get in there, this is what you see. You'll see the various ways you can integrate your mobile app with other platforms. And of course, blue is right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to get started. It's going to ask you to put in three links. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it from my desktop. Let me just use my... And I'm going to paste it in here. Paste. Done. And if you have the Pre-Q2, which is our new pre-qualification tool, which I will go through, you can also paste it here. And if you're accepting leads from the Canadian Mortgage app through our referral program, which is an add-on, you can also paste it here. So now what you are going to be receiving is new contacts. You're going to get all the pre-quals from those contacts, as well as new leads will be ingested into Blue. So to make it easy testing wise, we put this test button right there, right next to that URL. So I'm just gonna to go to borrowers in blue. You can see right now I have zero contacts under this tab, not contacted. I'm just gonna initiate the test. So tap on test here, test results success. And in blue, it should pop up. For Moment me. of truth, there we go. Wow, this is incredible. This is a this is when technology doesn't fail you on a live demo. <laughs> it almost always does. Eh? Yeah, always something does. happens on That's the live true. demo. Yeah. <laughs> so if you can see a test yeah. at bandigi.com means everything is done. It's perfect. Okay, so now I can just close this, click on done on tap on done on the top right, and it's now saved and it's all good. It's ready to go. That's that's so maybe, really it. That's that's the whole integration, copying a link into another place. So yeah, we tried to make it pretty uh, pretty simple, and uh, you know that's kind of the technical side of things, like I was saying earlier. So now that we have that groundwork, right? So now that we have basically, um, you know, the the annoying part, if you will, to actually make that connection. Now that connection's live, you know, let's have some fun with it. So. Maybe I'll I'll share my screen and I'll I'll walk through a couple things that uh, you know we 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 suggest people doing. Uh, we've seen people doing that are you know pretty kind of cool things that, uh, that you can do in in blue. So I'm in the same account here. Uh, can you see that Ben? Is it is it loading on your? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good. So we'll refresh. Very nice. So it's there. So. Again, for those folks who are not uh, using Blue right now, to give a super, super high level of what you're looking at here, this is our borrowers, basically our leads. So I call this whole area, it's basically lead to application, right? So, and you know, you can do it from leads from the Canadian Mortgage app. We've seen people use this pipeline for realtor leads, whatever it is, wherever you are getting your leads, this is the place to kind of manage it. And what this allows you to do is really kind of see at a high level, you know, where are these different leads, right? From not contacted to maybe sending them my application link to them opening that application, where are they kind of at in that process? Um, but then there's also, I'd say two other really cool things you can do with it. One would be, you know, of course I could click on, you know, Ben Salami here, who's my test contact, and I can just kind of begin interacting with him, right? I could say, uh, you know, nice you know, new lead or something like that, right? And, you know, these types of things, you know, notes are, I'd say, pretty, I always say are kind of the most underrated thing because people kind of roll their eyes and say, yeah, I get what a note is. But it is, there's a lot of value in notes and, you know, you can even come in here. And I have a teammate 
and I can tag them, right? So I could say, hey, at Jamie, I'll check out this new lead. And it's a nice way to do that. And, you know, as I start to scroll, I can start interacting in other ways, right? Maybe send them an email, maybe send them a text message, maybe create a task reminder for myself to follow up with them, you know, follow up. I got to do that maybe tomorrow. And so that's all part of kind of what you can do in blue, kind of manually do that. But the really fun thing, and this is what we'll get into, is getting maybe some of that a little bit more on autopilot. So instead of you kind of coming in here and being like, oh, look at that new lead, you know, writing the note and maybe manually sending the email, you know, wouldn't it be cool if we could just get that on autopilot a little bit? And so that's what we're going to show, uh, show now. And so in order to do that, in order to get this on autopilot, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take, and this is for the blue users, maybe you'll be a bit familiar with this um, area, I'm going to have to take a quick detour to my settings area. So this gear icon in the top right corner, by clicking that, it takes me to this screen. And if you remember, this is actually that area that I actually saw my settings for Canadian Mortgage App was in the marketplace area. And so um, this is really kind of the control center, if you will, as it relates to blue. It's like that admin tab that Ben was showing on the Canadian Mortgage App. This is, this is the blue version. And so if you want to automate this, if you want to, okay, I want it so that, hey, as soon as someone writes in or downloads my app, they get an email. Well, we tried to make this as easy as easy as possible. And what I mean by that is what we started with under customization and templates is we actually made a template specifically for this. So when you install this application, I was talking about downloading that link, this email template will get installed in your account on your behalf. And so it's just there, it's sitting there waiting for you. And you can see, you know, it's very basic. Hey, borrower, it's great to meet you. You know, thanks for downloading my app. It's packed with a ton of great features. You know, I, I encourage you to explore them all. And so you can use this exactly, or you could hit edit. There's a little edit button there and kind of make it your own, right? So that's the first thing that we do there. And so what that means is that, okay, you see that new lead, you can quickly pull up this template and send it out, which is great. But then take it just maybe that final step further. Again, those familiar with Blue will know this, is that I'm going to go back to my control center here. I can actually automate that. So instead of having to load up the template and then hit send, some people like to do that because they want a bit more control. But other people say, well, no, I just, whatever, you know, every time I get a new lead from the app, just, just send out that email automatically. And we have that pre-built in here for you. So you know, for, again, for those familiar with Blue, it's under automation we care about now and specifically by workflow rules. So always there's a ton of workflow rules, maybe different automations that, automations that you want to do. Blue gives you a bunch of these. Maybe you have some of your own. But really, just for the purpose of this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for CMA. And very much so like the template, we have a workflow already created for you specific to this. So to give you a super high level of how this workflow editor works, as you can see, I basically have a trigger. So when a borrower is created, so when I get a new lead, and that lead source is Canadian Mortgage App. And just to you know be extra sure, if I look at Ben Salami here, who was, came over in the test, sure enough, lead source is Canadian Mortgage App. So we've got that handled for you. If those two things are satisfied, then send that email template. It's really as easy as that. We have it all set up for you. All you need to do if you want to use it is hit activate. And that's it, right? And that's in there and that's ready to go. I'm going to do one final do detour here. And basically this detour is for those you know, advanced users out there that maybe want to do a little bit more. Maybe, as an example, you want it so that as soon as they write in, they you send them an email, but maybe, or maybe a text message, right? And then maybe a day later, you send that follow-up email. Right, so how do I actually make this my own, this kind of workflow that I have for these Canadian mortgage app leads? Well, to do that, I'm gonna create a brand new workflow. So I'm gonna call this the CMA demo workflow, sure. And then this actually gives me the opportunity to recreate exactly what I saw in that other place. So we give you one out of the box as a template, but if you wanted to create your own, you absolutely can do that. And so I'll just kind of go ahead and kind of do the same thing that we were seeing over there, which says, hey, execute this workflow when I create a borrower. And again, I'm going to say when the lead source is Canadian. And it's going to give me some suggestions here. 
um, I don't have to do the suggestions, but so I can just put that in like that. And then the really fun part is all of this, right? So I could come in here and kind of choose what I want to happen once, once this goes through. So the example that I said is send a text message. So maybe when that new borrower comes in, I'm gonna text their mobile. I'm gonna say, hi, first name. Thanks for downloading my app. Let me know if you have questions, right? Something like that. Save that action, I'll just call this text. And there you go. And so now I actually can create my own version of a drip or a campaign or an auto follow-up based on these leads coming over from the Canadian Mortgage app. Really pretty cool. And you know, you can even go into scheduled action. So that text goes right away. But then in one business day, maybe you don't, don't want to text them on the weekend, you know, shoot them an email, right? Something like that. And then maybe in three business days, shoot them another email and a text, right? So you can see how this thing can, can really build it. So <clears throat> that's where I'll kind of pause there. And I think maybe I'll kick it back to you, Ben. I think we might want to do like a live prequel and see that email get sent out so we can show the full end-to-end -end workflow, if you will. Um, so <laughs> okay. I'll kick Are you it sure back about over. that? Are we, Are we ready to do this? <laughs> Yeah, we're doing it live. What's that? Uh, you, you see that old video that was like, we're, we're, we're doing it live. <laughs> what do you think? We can do it. Um, okay. I, I did test it, but I did not test the, the email integration. So I'm sure the automation will kick in. And yeah, so I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to show it. you how, uh, from a consumer's perspective, from a client's perspective, what they see and show you the steps. And then we can do a prequel as well. And uh, talk a little bit about prequal for those of you who don't know what it is, pre-Q2. And I guess I should share my screen. So there was a question on on the chat asking when whether this is going to be available in the company branded apps. And the answer is yes, it will be it will be available very soon. We have already deployed the backend for it. So it does trigger these webhooks. If you want to test it out before it's actually live on the phone. You can send us or send me the your webhook URL. I'll put it into the database, and it's going to start kicking in doing it. It's just you won't be able to see it on your phone yet until we update the app. So that's already in place. So let me then share my screen to give you a real-world scenario here. Uh, share screen. OK. You should be able to see it. Uh, yeah, I see picture in picture. That's what I'm seeing right now. Okay, so yeah. I just canceled that. All right, so yeah, that's... perfect. So I got blue here and I got, now I got the app. Now, what you see right now is someone who installed your app. So at this point, they've clicked on your custom link because every pro uh, subscriber gets a custom link. They send it to their clients. Clients install the app and this is what they see when they come in. At this point, they haven't created an account, so they won't show up in your CRM because frankly, we have no information on them. But as soon as they wanna, as soon as they open the app, it pops up and say, would you like to create an account? So it looks like this. I already have created an account previously, so I'm just gonna log in. And uh, it's consumer at bendigi.com. That's just my test account. Put in my password. Perfect, so now I'm logged in. And if you remember previously, I said customers don't see the admin button. You can see it's not here. There is no admin button. So this is what the customers, clients see and everything they can do on your app. On the right hand, uh, on the left hand side here, we already added the webhook URL into the app. So we should get this person in here. And there it is, Jane Smith, consumer at bandage.com. So you can also see phone number and their email. Just remember, if it's a phone number or an email in there, it's already verified. So clients, when they create an account, they have to confirm their email, going to their inbox, clicking on a button. And when they put in their phone number, they have to also confirm that too, with like text message that, that we sent to them. So everything in here is confirmed. Now, this is what they can do on your, on your app. They can simply 
click on this and, and apply if you have added your apply link to the app. So that's pretty cool. And then we have the prequel, they have the purchase, they can, they can obviously contact you, they can read up about you, there's your bio, there's your testimonials, all your social links. So you can add in your own testimonials to the app. So this is all there for your clients to research you. But most importantly, there's, a, there's tons of tools in here that they can use. So I'm gonna start with the prequel. So you can see there's a card prequel. I've already done one before. I'm gonna start a new one. So the goal of this tool is to give your clients a high level estimate what they can, they can qualify for. It takes into consideration a lot of things, including closing costs. Uh, and it, it, most importantly, it sends all the details back to you for your initial assessment. But it's very cool to do this because the client could be on their couch at home and they can do this within 60 seconds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through it so you can see it, get started. First question is, where I, I don't know i think i don't know if I, I think your your screen's not sharing anymore there ben sorry to what is it i don't know if people see that it may be in the q a but it cut out for me oh did it just cut off or was it no it, yeah it oh, just cut off like we were yeah <laughs> no no it just yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah okay were we at this location or were yeah, we yeah, no, yeah you're you were good we got this far yeah you're <laughs> Basically, right. we saw the testimonials. We saw your name. We saw all that. It just, it just, it literally just cut out. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Let me actually go into focus mode because I'm I get too many emails. There we go. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to start a prequel by tapping on start new. So this is what your clients would experience. And get pre-qualified. They can see some of this stuff here. They can go through it. Why do we want to get pre-qualified? Well, it's the first step an app you can trust. We have a, over 800,000 installations of the app and 17,000 five-star ratings. So when you send your client to an app like this and they see all the reviews, the click to download ratio is, is huge. Okay, let's get started. Where do you plan to buy? Location, location, location. Mm -hmm. Let's say I want to buy in Toronto. Toronto. Now, the purpose of this is that at this point we pull mill rates, condo fees, all the data for, about Toronto so that we can accurately pre-qualify. Let's go to next. Are you a Canadian citizen? Yes, that's very important because there's a foreign buyer taxes and I guess recently has been changed to actually there's a ban on it. Uh, are you a first time home buyer? So we're gonna do a yes here and you're gonna see that information traveling to your blue mortgage very soon. Because this guy is a first time home buyer, we're not gonna ask them whether they own other properties. But just remember, the prequel is very comprehensive. It will ask people whether they own other properties because there's non-subject properties, rental worksheets are all built into the app. Okay, are you buying a house or condo? So let's go for a house. Do you plan to rent out your new house? Uh, yes, let's do it. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. And I'm looking for to rent out my basement suite. So this is an owner-occupied rental. Of course, rates change, the rules change. So let's go basement suite. You guys have thought of everything, right? Oh, this is super comprehensive. Um, <laughs> okay, how much would you charge rent? So let's say I want to charge 2,500 in Toronto for my basement. For basement? Yes. Inter oh my <laughs> God. It's a nice basement, yeah. So this is the available funds. And what the app will do is it's going to take this value and it's going to intelligently distribute it between down payment and closing cost requirements. Because, you know, we have the land transfer taxes and we want to make sure the customer is uh, safe and don't overspend. So this, this will actually go through thousands of permutations of possible scenarios and figure out what is the perfect down payment and closing cost that it matches to 300000 plus the maximum purchase price at the end. So let's go next. Do you have any outstanding debts? So let's just add one debt as for fun. A credit so card I maybe. have a credit card. It's a visa. Balance is 10,000 and max, my credit limit is 30. Okay, so maybe add a car loan as well. 
So let's say I drive a Tesla. I don't actually like Tesla. It's just easy to type. Is this a lease? Yeah, it's a lease. I'm paying $1,200. Yeah. But if it's not a lease, I can just turn this off and put in my balance of the loan. But yeah. Okay, so that's, you know, I can add student loans, spousal, child support, and other if I'm paying rent, for example. No more debts. What's your employment status? I'm employed. And if the person is self-employed, this is something cool I want to show you. If they're self-employed, we ask for the two-year average income. And if they don't know where to find that, there's a button here is where to find this. And it shows them it's online 15,000 on their NOA. So I thought that was pretty cool. But let's go back. I'm, in, I'm, I'm actually employed. And we make 150,000. You can use a slider or you can enter it in. Even when the customer says, oh, I make 150K and they want to put this in, we actually tell them, uh, did you mean 150,000? <laughs> Because we've had clients put in, yeah, one fifty. Make a hundred bucks a year, yeah. <laughs> okay, next. And how would you rate your credit? So the app doesn't pull credit, which is very important because, first of all, we would have only got the the educational score for the free credit score. Second, if you didn't for the Beacon Nine, it would cost you money. So better <laughs> let them let them first pick it. Of course, you still need to pull credit and get the final stuff. It's gonna do some calculations and voila. So there's a cool animation and it's gonna say the name, Jen, increase your borrowing power by completing a full mortgage application. But it's gonna have all the details here for them, including what their monthly cost is. I did mention we estimate property taxes and heat. You can see here, we have the rental income. So that now they know what yeah. the cost is. They can see the purchase price. The closing cost is actually 2.2% based on the purchase price. And there's the mortgage details itself. Uh, we don't show the, yeah, so there's a breakdown here. Yeah, perfect. So it shows this is actually an uninsured mortgage with a loan to value of 67%. Now, on your side, on the blue end, you actually get now the details inside Jane. And I'm gonna show that in a second. But I also wanna mention, not only you get the information in blue, but you get also push notified to your phone with all the details that Jane has entered in. And I can sh quickly show you how that looks as well by logging out. I'm gonna log into my own, my broker account with the admin. Okay, you're not logged into your own app. Yes, I am. And under my notifications should have been already something here. Perfect. Pre-queue from Jane Look Smith. Wow. And you can see all the details that Jane included as well as their contact info. You can call them by, by just a tap. This is all the information they put in. There, there was some, there was quite a lot of information. And you can import this into your app and make customizations and generate a report back to Jane. So that would be the workflow you would do on the app. But let's see what happens in blue. So under Jane Smith, all right, so we haven't mapped all the data into blue yet, but as we proceed with this, of course, I can see Tom adding more information in, but we just picked the most important things, which is what the credit score is, whether they're a first time home buyer, yeah, I think we added, yeah, first time home buyer credit score. And then if you scroll down a bit there, Ben, uh, you'd also see that we have the income information as well, right? So that, that 150K, so so that's in there and that's that's there. And maybe this is a good point. So a couple of things on this, maybe I'll just call out, yes, the email, right? So back at 127, so at 10 minutes ago when actually Jane logged in and downloaded my app, the email was automatically sent. Right, pretty cool, right? So there's Jane, it goes to consumer, it puts in her email, puts in dynamically your signature. And so that's all kind of part and parcel with what this integration is gonna do. The other interesting thing with it, Ben, and this is there's a lot of questions in the uh in the comments about this that uh that I think we can um chat about, which is basically people are asking, 
can I take this information and put it into my deal submission platform? And so um, I think you have your set of answers to that. And maybe, if, I don't know if you want to talk about it quick, but what I'll say too is that if at the very least, if it comes into blue, in the top right corner there, Ben, you can see that we have the create deal and velocity button. Um, yeah, that one there. And we're working on, I think we are working on a, a Finmo version of that. And um, uh, I think, uh, Biologics as well, but velocity is what it is right now. So you just basically put in the purpose, and this is. I, I think this might not work just because it's a test account, but <laughs> what it's gonna? Yeah, yeah, you're putting me on the spot here, but uh, but no. The, and then this will take at least those details that we captured: name, email, phone number, employment details, and send that over into velocity. So it's not going to be everything that was in the app, but at least what comes through to Blue will then be able to be forwarded over. <clears throat> And then, yeah, I don't know if you have a, anything to add to that, Ben, in terms of just connecting to deal submission platforms. Uh, so from our perspective, because a client will log in, they'll maybe do one or two or three or 10 pre-qualifications. There will, there, there will be adjusting information. And then you still need to assess that. I'm not sure it's ready for an, for an actual deal. So that's why it's probably not a good idea to do an automated deal from a prequel to a deal yeah. yet uh because you know you still need to confirm a bunch of stuff you may want to even talk to them fix up their debts fix up their down payments like all that conversation is really important for you to have before you start doing a deal and that those touch points uh, i i think it's super important for a customer to get so as soon as you get the push notification that's when I would call up the client and say, hey, thanks. Do you have any questions? Let me go over it. Let me think about this. Let me try to improve it for you. Uh, so I think they would appreciate that before you actually start a deal and send them a full mortgage application. So really, for a first-time homebuyer, first time doing it, uh, I'm not sure it's a good idea to go directly into a deal. Right into the deal. That's it, right, yeah. So I think we're, um, I don't know if you have anything more there, Ben, but I thought, you know, we kind of showed that full workflow now. Someone downloading the app, someone then doing a pre-qualification, both those details coming into blue, the auto email being sent out and having that contact to track. So, I mean, maybe I just think, you know, we've, uh, we've tested the, well, I mean, no, I appreciate everyone kind of staying. I know it's a lot to sit for 40 minutes and hear people talk about sharing screens and doing different things, but I hope this was, uh, at least useful and interesting. Um, and I think maybe we can just kind of wrap things up, kind of open the floor to Q&A for the last, you know, five, 10 minutes. Uh, but uh, yeah, be, before we dive into the q and I, I really do appreciate everyone taking their time and um, yeah, and, and, and their questions and, and all that sort of stuff. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Tom, for actually having me. This is our, this is the first time we're doing a integration and really, really it's, it's important for us because for many years, for 10 years, I'd say, the app has been an island by itself. It's collecting data, sending it to brokers back and forth, but never to the next step uh, other than we have the apply link. So this is, this is pretty exciting to see that we can actually integrate and work together on this. That's, uh, it's cool. It's cool. And it's just, yeah. I think that, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's. I think it's the way of way of the world that things seem to be going. Is that you know, there's more tools and more people wanting to integrate between them, and you know, hopefully this this provides some uh, some good value for folks. So uh, excited about it. Um, I'm just gonna kind of start picking off some some questions here. Um, so I'll, I'll just kind of go through. Um, I'm just I'm just gonna pick random ones, and maybe Ben, you can do the same. But someone was asking here, so um, you know. Since Blue integrates with deal submission platforms like Finmo, like Velocity, if I send data from Blue to, let's go, I think the question is Finmo, will that just create a duplicate because then Finmo sends it right back? And and the short answer is no, because we're a little bit smart about it. Um, we're going to, you know, when we send that information, first of all, we usually get a response like a deal ID, so we know, hey, if we see that deal ID then coming back in. Okay, we know it's the same thing. We also have some fail safes like email. Like if we see five apps being created for the same email, then we're going to assume okay, maybe maybe this is the same person. So 
um, yeah, that, that's kind of the idea. And this is and this is true also for the app because when the client logs in three times, you don't create new contacts. You actually look at okay, this person has already been imported. Mm -hmm. So, and the same thing with prequels, uh, right? Every time someone does a prequel, it does send an update. So you don't create a new prequel based on the contacts. You simply update things. So that's very cool. Do you want me to pick a random one? <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, I'm just scrolling through them here. I didn't... Uh... <laughs> there, was, there was one that's yeah. pretty good. I, uh, I think Dan actually... Uh, Dan Oliver. So uh, the idea with the push to submission platform was to save the client entering the data twice. And I think that's super cool. But it, it shouldn't probably be automated. Yeah, that's so probably when yeah. when you're ready creating a deal, yeah, it, it would probably be good to send that information over and so that when the application shows, it's already pre-filled and the client is like, Oh yeah, I put that information in. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's it's right. super yeah. impressive, right? Like to see your yeah. name pre-filled and oh yeah. That's like uh that's a great consumer experience. I love it. And it's like, how do they know my name? But <laughs> Maybe it's yeah, you know, it's uh, but I, it's it's good, right? It's uh, it's what you want. It's those little things, right? It's like those micro uh, micro interactions that don't seem much at the time, but they add up, right? It's like you know, it's just what you know. What are people getting excited about and and interacting with you, right? It's, yeah. It goes a long way. <laughs> so okay, there was another question here by Glenn. He, he says, "Freaking awesome." And I would say, yeah, you're right. Good question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. Um, no, it's good. It's great. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Um, okay. Yeah. I, honestly, I think a lot of folks are just asking about the uh, um, the integration, maybe one day with these these deal submission platforms. So maybe those are some conversations we can take offline. I think the high level right now is basically comes into blue, manage the lead in blue. Maybe there's a couple updates like Ben's talking about, right? Hey, maybe they change certain parameters of that prequal or whatever it might be, and then you have you know a button like we showed the velocity one and you know other other buttons like that come. So that, that's the high level right now. Um. Well, yeah, if there's nothing else, again, I appreciate everyone's time. We'll maybe just keep the floor open for another minute or two. But, uh, yeah, thanks thanks so much for taking time out of your day. And uh, hope this is – Well, look, and I guess the only ask is to give some feedback, right, for people who get in there and start using it and start playing around with it. You know, feedback's always a gift. So if you have any, please, uh, please do send it our way, and we'll do our best to make this the best version that we can. Nice. Okay, great. Do you just look at the chats for new chats? Is that? I'm just looking. Yeah, that's yeah. that's about it. Let's yeah. see. Awesome. Thank you all. <laughs> I saw this one. Yeah, is there a desktop version of the app Europe? Ben. Oh, the web calculators. Yeah, that's that's also pretty exciting. Uh, perhaps that should also include some kind of webhook capability to push reports but it doesn't have an account system in it yet so we can't uh, I see. do that okay. as of yet now but yeah that's there is a generate report which could technically be a contact as well so for, for many years people have asked can i use this on the desktop yeah yeah that was the and question. we've always yeah. pushed back and say ah oh, come on it's a mobile app it's only on your phone uh, consumers like the phone idea but mortgage brokers work with desktops, 10 screens. So <laughs> we've, we've added the web calculator where you can actually embed it on your own website too. So we have That's four right. calculators. If you're interested, it's all on the CanadianMortgageApp.com. One thing that uh, people were asking, I saw one up there, I'm just remembering it. They were saying, hey, can we take this pre-qualification and put it into, because Blue, through actually the Zoho Sales IQ, it has a chat bot. So you can get a chat bot and you can put it on your website. So I don't know if I'm speaking out of term, but there would be a scenario where maybe, you know, in the chat bot, you could say, hey, I want to get pre-qualified, right? And then what happens when they click that link is they can, you know, zip over to the desktop version of um, of what Ben was showing. Or even like a, a download link to the, to the app if they're on the mobile version of, of your website and use the mobile mm -hmm. version of the chatbot. So there are some ways kind of 
and these that's kind of the nice thing about blue and tools like CMA even is that there's customizability. So each one, you know, each person using it can kind of make it make sense to their needs. So that's that would be kind of yeah. a cool, cool way to do that. Yeah. yeah, we definitely have this in plan, uh, Tom, to bring the prequal onto the desktop and make it as user friendly, going through a bunch of scenarios. And then the data, of course, needs to go somewhere. So that's that's where we can work together on it again and there put some go. more yeah. data. <laughs> Love it. Well, the, the chatter's kind of died down, so I think this is as good a time as any. But uh, thanks again, and thanks, Ben. And, uh, yeah, we'll send over this recording probably today or tomorrow. And uh, really appreciate it. I think what we'll also do maybe just in that email um, is we'll just send up some sign-up links, right? So if you are using CMA but not Blue or you're using Blue and not CMA, we'll give you a, give you a couple of links where you can get in there and, and download some stuff and, and try it out for yourself. Awesome. Okay. Perfect. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, okay. everyone. Thanks, everyone.